thank you for everybody for taking some time out of your day today. Really just wanted to have a little bit of a reorientation, a reconnection. I know some of you might be new to the team and some of you may have gone through our signature series a year and a half ago. So really just giving you a little bit of a refresher that Studio B is here as a resource and also give you a preview of the updates that we've made to our technology. Uh, you'll all be experiencing a new view on your landing page. So I want to give you a brief demo of that. Um, but really just want to open up with an introduction of myself. Uh, my name is Gretchen Wallace and I'm in sales and development at Studio B. I have been with Studio B a little over two years um, and it's been quite a journey as a startup. We're <laughs> learning every day and really um, having just a wonderful experience with our small and growing team. Um, prior to Studio B, I spent over 10 years in the mortgage banking industry. I had a really great job, worked for a great bank. Um, I loved my coworkers, I loved my clients, um, but what I had experienced in that position was uh, a lot of stress and the stress led to uh, severe tension headaches and insomnia and really a lot of anxiety. So much to the point where I went to my doctor and I asked him for a prescription and he told me to take a yoga class. And so I'm very grateful that he gave me that information. Um, and what I, why I tell that story is uh, because today I have a practice that helps me cope with the stress that we meet every day. So that way, if I do start to feel tension coming in the back of my neck that I know will lead to a tension headache, I know what to do to stop it. Or if I'm starting to feel overwhelmed um, you know, in a certain situation, I can drop into some tools and practices that can kind of relieve a little bit of that overwhelm. So really what I wanna to do today is kind of revisit Studio B as a resource, show you um, how we can come into your workday and encourage you to take a short break with us. So that way you have an awareness, an awareness that stress is going to happen. It's going to, it's going to something that you're going to encounter most days for the rest of your life. We can't make stress go away, but what we can do is help the relationship that you have with stress. So give you practices again, that you can drop into in a busy day. So that way, um, you know, the, the stress and anxiety and overwhelm doesn't derail you from the work that you, that you love doing. And what we know is that people that most, most, the people that are most prone to burnout are those that are really um, motivated and really engaged with their job and very dedicated. So the, the more dedicated, the more time we spend outside of work, thinking about work, the more dedicated we are, the more prone we are to to burn out. So again, what we want to do is just give you some tools and practices that you can use and incorporate into your day so that you don't burn out from a job that you love. Um, so I, I had mentioned some of the physical effects that I had felt with stress. Can anybody relate or share any, you know, how are you feeling stress or how have you felt stress in your body in the last year? You volunteer me. Yeah. <laughs> I particularly get stressed out when I'm volunteer for things. <laughs> I I'm not too sure because I feel like I handle stress um, like I I compartmentalize things and then just take it in order of importance, I guess. You know, so then when I am stressful too, it's more so just like, hey, what can I tackle next to get done? that won't snowball into some crazy downline. And um, sometimes I go for walks. Well, that's gonna lead into my next question is, uh, what do you all have any, anything that you do now, like taking a walk so that, that when you recognize that you have some stress coming in, things that you can do to kind of relieve some of that stress? Yeah, I guess for me, it's mainly walking. I've had a couple, some would say stressful couple weeks. And um, <laughs> uh, I went for a hike around Moon Lake on, on Saturday, you know, and then just went for some food afterwards. And it was, uh, it was relieving. That's great. Yeah, nature can do a lot to recharge our batteries and really get us um, 
more in tune with ourselves and how we're feeling. Uh, a lot of other feedback that I've heard is cooking, uh, you know, on the weekends when we have a little extra time to do that walk or to do some baking or cooking, it gives us an opportunity to kind of um, to do something that's a, a mindful act is that we're deliberately spending the time putting ingredients together to make a, a meal for ourselves or, or our family. Uh, and spending time with uh, animals or loved ones can also be a very mindful act that can uh, that can be de-stressing or, you know, in the summer months when our ground isn't frozen, a lot of people like uh, to garden, you know? Can I volunteer Megan now? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Is there something you'd like to share, Megan? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also like No, share whatever your heart wants to share. Maybe. <laughs> Great, I appreciate all that. Um, and, and so we take these deliberate moments, maybe on the weekends or after work or before work, where we have this structured time um, to kind of de-stress and defrag from our everyday lives. But what happens from the hours of eight to five or nine to six or whatever hours you're putting in um, and, you know, with our phones, I know that my messages come through until about 10 o'clock. I, I don't, I choose not to look at them after a certain time, but I know that they're there. Mm -hmm. So what we want to talk about is what can we do during our day? So we have many bites of those breaks. So we're meeting stress right there in the moment and not waiting to the weekend to kind of let loose and go for that long hike. How can we take a three to five minute break and really kind of feel the effects of that? Um, so what I want to do right now is switch to um, a screen share and I'm going to go into the landing page and I'm going to show you how easy it is to take just a couple minute break with Studio B. So bear with me a moment. Every time I share my screen, I'm always curious as to what's going to come up, but <laughs> this time it worked out great. So uh, I opened up the landing page. Um, so if any of you have been in Studio B before, you'll notice that this view is a little different. Uh, when we rolled out our landing page or our uh, product uh, in October of last year, it was a consumer facing product. Um, what we've done in the last few months is created an organizational or a, a corporate landing page. So it's private to your group and we're organizing the page to meet you in a busy work day. So for example, if I go down to some of these playlists, I'll click into something called mindful meetings. The reason we created these, this playlist is we want to start to give you an opportunity to use Studio B in your workday. So if you're gathering for a meeting and everybody is coming from different places, a great way to start a meeting is with a three minute meditation. So if you click into this playlist, what you'll see is a selection of nine meditations that you could click into that you could click into. They're all time stamped. So you can see uh, that they're all around three to five minutes. So let's just take a pause. I'm gonna play this meditation. If you wish to participate, you can wish to participate. Um, it's just two minutes. Hello, my friend. My name is Sid Munt, and I'm a senior facilitator with Studio B. Thank you for joining me for this two-minute meditation recorded on a beautiful rainy evening in New Orleans. Let's begin. Gently seal your lips. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your nose. Without any sort of aggression, breathe in deep and breathe out slow. Breathing in, I feel my lungs expanding. Breathing out, I feel a sense of letting go. Breathing in, I'm aware 
aware of my body filling with air, breathing out. I release any tension in my body. Breathing in, I feel alive and awake. Breathing out, I allow myself to dwell in this present moment. Breathing in, I feel a sense of contentment. Breathing out, I let go of any unnecessary stress in my mind. Give yourself props for taking this time to pause and reset. You took time to care for yourself. My wish for you today is that a sense of peace and well-being find you in a really unexpected place. Enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste. Mm. All right. So that was brought to us by one of our facilitators named Sid. And uh, Sid has a very calming effect with his voice and his meditations. So I really just wanted to show you how easy it is in two minutes and 41 seconds, which is the timestamp on this practice, to really kind of shift and take a moment to take a few breaths. And um, I don't know if that felt a certain way for anybody, if it helped you, you know, relax and get a little centered uh, or just, you know, giving yourself permission to take a break. A lot of times our schedules get so stacked with back-to-back -back meetings is that we forget to take a break. And what we want to do with this tool is give you that permission and give you the tool to take a midday break. Um, so, I'd like to go back and just show you a little bit more of the page. So like I mentioned before, Studio B has our organizational wellness side, which is the landing page that you're viewing right now. We still have the other side, the consumer side, and you'll, you still have full access to that. I'll show you how to get there in just a moment. Uh, but I, the first, again, you'll see uh, play or some banners that will scroll across. Every month we uh, we have a, oh, maybe my internet conked out for a second. I apologize for that. I'm, I'm back, okay. Um, every month at Studio B, we have a theme that we follow and we're gonna highlight those themes on the banners. And we're also going to uh, be updating the playlist monthly. So as you continue to come into the landing page, you're going to see new data or new content. And that content is often going to be highlighted in the banners uh, when you first log in here. So in addition to the mindful meetings playlist, there's sleep support, soothing aches and pains. And if you click into these playlists, you'll be offered nine different practices. We like to keep the practices 15 minutes and under really again, so that way it's something that you can do in the middle of a busy day and it's not taking too much time. Um, in addition to the playlist, we have a live class calendar. What you'll see here under today's classes is anything that's coming up in the next couple of hours. As you can see at three o'clock here, we have office hours for meditation with one of our facilitators. Um, but if I click into all live classes, you're going to see our full live class calendar. We offer over 70 classes each week that, um, that range in time and ability. Uh, a majority of our classes are beginner friendly. And what we try to do is make sure that there's at least one offering each day uh, that is short. So you see these 10 and 15 minute practices that are sprinkled throughout our, our calendar are were really meant for our corporate clients to come in and take a break with us. What we find is that there are benefits to taking a live class. Uh, some of the benefits are practicing in community gives you a sense of accountability. Uh, we have an add to calendar feature which allows you to 
add uh, a class to your calendar and also invite coworkers. So if you wanted to take Janine's quick stretch break at 1030 on Tuesdays, you could add this to your calendar with the add to calendar feature. You would choose what calendar you want to sync up with. And you could also make this a recurring event. If you wanted this to show up on your calendar each Tuesday, you would click uh, weekly Tuesday. And you could also add, um, add other guests. So again, if you wanted to share a practice or have somebody meet you in a class, one of your coworkers, you could add them, this, them to this calendar invite and it would appear on their calendar. So really trying to, again, encourage you to schedule the time in your week to take these mini breaks throughout the day. It has the same kind of feel of, as if you ever had like a workout buddy going to the gym or a walking buddy, is that if you are, if you know somebody else is counting on you to go, you're more apt to show up than just kind of going out there by yourself. So in addition to the live classes in the playlist, what we're highlighting here down, uh, down here are some teachers that we have at Studio B. Now there are three teachers highlighted here. You could click into their profiles to see all of their content. Uh, Joe's a great facilitator. He has these quick meditations um, that are three and four minutes. So really easy uh, meditations to click into in the middle of the day. And then we have a self-led program. This self-led program is called Nurture Yourself Through Anxiety. Uh, and if I click into it, you'll be able to see each one of the lessons. So there's a total of seven lessons in this self-led program. And you can use this uh, progress tracker to see where you are, uh, you know, it, progressing through uh, the course. So if I hit show lessons, it's going to give me an overview of what to expect in each lesson. And again, as you can see, these are time stamped. So the time commitment is fairly minimal. I think the longest one is the first one, which is an overview and introduction, which is 24 minutes. And right now in December, uh, you may have received an email with this information on there, is we're giving a Be Well Give Back initiative. Uh, so if you are in here and you complete the Nurture Yourself Through Anxiety program, if you complete all seven lessons by December 20th, we're going to issue a certificate of completion. And we're also going to issue you a gift certificate to give to a loved one over the holidays. The gift certificate will be for a Studio B membership for an entire year. So that's a $240 value. So if you're motivated again to do this for yourself and then motivated to give that gift over the holidays to a loved one, um, certainly get in there and check it out. Uh, the time investment is, is not huge. Um, you know, you have a few more weeks to uh, participate in that. So if I click on the icon or your logo here, it's always gonna bring me back to the main screen. So I mentioned that we're going to monthly update these playlists. We're going to quarterly update this self-led program. So in January, there'll be a new program in here for you to complete, and that will be live on your page for the whole first quarter. So it's something like keep coming back and keep, you know, um, keep coming back to see the new content and the, and the new options that you have available on your page. So what I also wanted to show you is that in addition to this view, if you toggle up from your name and you hit switch to Studio B, it's going to bring you over to the Studio, Studio B co-op side. So this is our global platform that is open to uh, consumer memberships that they pay $20 a month for. And what you'll see through here is you have access to over 40 teachers and facilitators. So with this, what you can do is click in to each one and kind of do some discovering, see what you like. Um, each teacher has a page with their bio and all of their classes on there. You have the ability to favorite teachers 
and they'll come up at the top of your list when you come back to the home screen. So on this side, you can kind of build your own page, where on the other side, we built a page and delivered it to you. With this side, as you can see, I can favorite people so that they uh, appear at the top of my list. There's also a search function here. So if you wanted to search for, you know, um, a meditation, that's five minutes or under, these meditations would come up. I like to use this search function for ailments. Uh, like I mentioned before, I can have tension headaches. Uh, let me take the time stamp off here though. If I search tension, there's going to be many options that come up to help relieve tension. And then it, within here, I can favorite certain practices. So you can build a list of your favorite practices and you can also build a list of your favorite teachers. So there's a lot to explore within here. And then of course the calendar is the same calendar that I showed you on the, on the other side on your private landing page. So if you want to switch back to, the, to your landing page, you would do so in the top right hand corner. So we're almost at time here. I want to just go over a few, I guess, housekeeping items. I wanna make sure that everybody has access to a Studio B account. I think we just need Anthony and Katie to be added. Anthony and Katie, okay. So I will touch base with you after the call, Megan, and make sure that I have um, their email addresses. Okay. And so we also send emails out. So each week you should be getting an email from Studio B on Monday and Thursday. And what we're doing in there is on Monday, we're setting a theme for the, for the week and we're linking into some content. And on Thursday, we're also giving a practice to learn, practice and grow with us. So really trying to reach people at either a beginner and intermediate or an advanced level. Um, so if nothing, if you do nothing at all, but besides click through those emails for a practice, you'll be practicing with us two times a week. Um, after today's session, you're going to get a few emails from me, uh, just giving you, uh, highlighting some features that we have is that we don't have a mobile app yet, but our website is mobile enabled. So that means you can create a shortcut on your phone. So I'll send out some instructions with that. Um, you'll also be getting an email, encourage you to follow, follow us on your social media cha uh, channels. What that'll do is just give you an opportunity to get more inspirational quotes, articles, uh, links to content in social media. Uh, we really don't want to overwhelm people with emails and we realize that social media is a place that people get a lot of information. So why not have Studio B on there? And let me make sure I covered everything. Yeah, I think that that is all that I wanted to cover. Um, I'll leave it open for any questions. If you were practicing, let's say for about three years, what level would you say that is? I would say that that is between intermediate and advanced. If you have a daily practice, um, I can certainly make some suggestions on which teachers to follow. Okay, thank you. And that's really, you know, use us as a resource. Uh, we are a small team, but there are humans behind what we're doing. So if there's something that you're looking for, you can't find, or if you say, you know, I've never done anything like this before, Gretchen, like, where should I start? I can, I would be absolutely happy to send you some recommendations. So I didn't hear, I didn't see whose voice was that that said um, they've been practicing. Okay. Tim, Tim. Great, Tim. I'll be sure to follow up with an email with links to a couple of our teachers, because like you can see when you're scrolling through that that long list of teachers that we have, they try to time or they try to stamp what their specialties are. So if you want to try a restorative yoga, uh, you know, there's several teachers that are uh, that's their area of expertise. If you're looking for something, somebody who's more uh, a meditation based.
uh, and Tim, you know, another opportunity to, for you to grow your practice is we offer workshops. Um, so that could be something that we can that will communicate in one of our learn practice grow. So under that grow theme is really where we're trying to give you more advanced practices. Okay. I'm, I'm, I specifically like the grounding and I saw the one where it said grounding with senses. So that's the type of material that I would look at. Great. Wonderful. Um, so I just want to um, be aware of the time. It's one o'clock. I will make sure that Anthony and Katie get set up with accounts and, and Tim, I'll be following up with you as well. But keep your eye uh, on your inbox with some emails for me. And um, please reach out with any questions or comments. Um, you know, we're happy to help in any way that we can. And just one last push to try to get in and do that self-led program. Um, if not for yourself, do it for a loved one. So you, so you have a gift certificate to hand over to somebody this holiday season. Uh, and then you know, into the new year, we'll be having new uh, refresh of content and playlists. Thank you so much. I'm sorry we couldn't be in person, but I appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. All right. Be well, everyone. Thank you.